Hey everybody, um, so I've been playing around with um, ASA filament on my CR10 and trying to get some good prints and a good profile going with uh, Idea Maker. Um, and this is, of course, 3D Phil. Uh, get him off the Thingiverse. Um, he's kind of like a Marvin or a Benchy to test. You get overhangs and um, you know a couple of uh, small logos and insets. And anyway, this ASA filament, uh, I really like it. It comes out nice and smooth. This is actually a uh, a passing print from my perspective. Um, printed with a brim, an 80 degree bed, about a 240 ish degree nozzle. So, similar to ABS settings, you kind of want to print slowish, like a PET G. Um, but man, it comes out really smooth and really nice. And one of the great things, too, is, is it, um, it acetone smooths. Uh, so, you can do a vapor bath, uh, which I have not done with this one. I've done it with a couple other fills I've created. Um, but, uh, and I had a little split, and you can hardly even tell, but I had a little split in this helmet right here, um, and I just came right along with a paintbrush and some acetone, and it just welded right together. Uh, and it does go a little bit glossy when you, um, when you use acetone to smooth it out, so it's kind of nice. Um, so anyway, I wanted to show a little bit, so I've got this piece of ASA, um, and this is a failed print. I was doing a back plate to, uh, Punisher emblem, which is going to go on my truck, but anyway, it was a two-piece, and I actually, so this top piece and the ring was um, one part, and then the plate here was another piece, and so I printed them separately, and then um, acetone welded them together, and it's uh, nice and solid and really rigid, and it's nice and uh, glued together and smashed, so, and then I painted it, obviously. Um, but you can tell here, up here at the teeth, um, so it's a little bit glossy, where I acetoned the, um, back this off just a little, right around the edge there, just around the lip, and everywhere else, and of course I gotta do a little bit more touch-up paint on this, but, um, so we'll, I have my little failed plate here, and we'll do, uh, so this guy is another little failed, uh, 3D fill, but, uh, what we'll do is we're gonna, simply acetone weld this. So I've got a little paintbrush here. It's a natural bristled paintbrush, which is what you want to use. But I put it on his feet nice and liberal. And then we stick them and hold them there for hopefully no more than, you know, 15, 20 seconds. And he should glue himself straight to it. And what I like to do too is around the seam is just go right around the seam and give it a little extra tack and let that dry for a second and not yet he's almost there I'm holding it I'm not putting too much pressure on it just enough to keep it in place while he's fermenting he's getting stuck into the ASA quicksand here and we'll do a little bit more and you can tell, so, you know, it's, it doesn't take much because as you're moving it around, it starts to get a little bit um, tacky and goopy with the, uh, with the paintbrush. And again, use a, um, you know, a natural bristled paintbrush. Don't use like a, a plastic bristled toothbrush. It'll just freaking melt the acetone, right? So, um, all right, so let's see how we're doing here. Oh, hey, look at that. So he's nice and stuck. And of course, I didn't do the back part of that shoe. But still, he is on there. So again, so I've got another guy here and another another Phil. And I really like Phil uh, way better than Benchy's now at this point. I don't know, just something new. But so you can tell he um, his feet fell off the bottom of his feet. So I don't have much to stick to here. But we're going to go ahead and just go around the seam. And we're going to do the same thing with him. Keep my camera in focus here. So just a little bit right on the brush. And we're going to go right around the seam on this one. Sure, there are lots of different ways people like to do this. This is how I've been doing it, and it seems to be working pretty good. So, do it or don't. Whatever, man. Um, so anyway, we'll get him a second to rest his weary feet. And again, I'm just in whatever acetone. I get this at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, whatever one I drove by first. Um, and sorry for the noise. I got the printer going, but. Um, trying to get a good ASA profile
going for my CR-10, and hey, 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 look at that, he's stuck. So, you can tell, again, like, so you can tell where it's glossy, it's actually not wet. It's not wet at all anymore, it's all dried, it's just glossy because that's what the acetone does to the ASA. Um, so anyway, uh, it's cool, you can glue it, um, acetone, since you've already got the acetone anyway, if you're going to be smooth with some stuff, but anyway, it's, it's a cool product, I'm not... I don't have a name of it. It's a generic filament. Got it on on cheapo eBay for twenty bucks a roll, and um, it's it's nice. It's tough. It's a UV stable version of, of ABS, so you can make a birdhouse out of it and stick it out in the sun, and you can make stuff for your car, which is what I'm going to ultimately be doing with it. Um, but um, anyway, there you go. Have fun. Talk to you.